Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back here again with the 2001 Cummins. If you remember from the last video, we just put new wheel bearings in it and the wheel bearings are actually doing great. We've got no noises, no grinding, no nothing. But one of the things that we actually noticed when we were doing the wheel bearings is we had a little bit of a clunking noise. I actually didn't notice it while I was driving. The truck's pretty loud, so it's pretty hard to hear stuff while you're driving anyway. But we did narrow it down while I was underneath the car, figured out that it was the front U-joint and the drive shaft. So what I'm gonna do now is we'll hop under there, I'll show you what I'm talking about, tell you how we're gonna fix it. Just like the wheel bearings, you realistically you can do it with pretty basic tools. 16 millimeter wrench, eight millimeter on a ratchet, and then like, I have a long extension, but you can use like a pry bar or anything just to stop the, act, the drive shaft from spinning. Yeah, that's all the tools you'll really need. And now if you don't know what a U-joint is or you haven't seen one, here's a quick uh, example. This is our new U-joint that'll be going in. And I can explain to you a little bit about what it does while we're underneath there. So let's hop underneath the truck. I'll show you what I'm talking about, what's bad. And I could give you a quick little breakdown on exactly what it does. Okay, so we're down here underneath the truck. And here's the part that's bad. This is the drive shaft. This is where it connects to the axle. And right there, that part that's moving and making that clunking noise, I'm sure you can hear. That's the U-joint. I'll give you a little bit of a close-up. You can actually see the seal portion of it is all broken and everything in there. It's pretty rusty. So basically what that U-joint does is it allows this drive shaft, the, since the axle is coming out here straight and this drive shaft is coming at an angle, it allows the two to be connected like solidly, providing power from the transmission or the transfer case to the axle while also having like a pivot point. That way there's no binding or anything like that. Everything's just a smooth operation, even though it's not a, a straight, perfect straight shaft. So it gives you just a joint where there's flexibility and pivoting, allowing for rotation and transfer of power. That's the front side and that's the side with the problem. But we're also, we're gonna pull the whole thing out just to make it easier. So what I'm gonna show you, this is the back side. Don't know how well you can see that. I think you could probably see it all right. That's where, that's where it connects to the transfer case. We're gonna disconnect it from there, not because any of the U-joints are bad, but just because we then we could pull the whole drive shaft out. Okay, so now you got an idea of what the problem is, how that U-joint's banging. Hopefully I explained what a U-joint is and how it works or what it does well enough for you to understand. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna unbolt that one side on the transfer case first, and then we're gonna take the side off on the axle pull that out, hopefully pull the whole drive shaft out. Not a big deal. And uh, we'll put it over on the ground, pop the U-joint out. So just stay tuned and uh, enjoy the music. So now the way that we're going to get this drive shaft off the transfer case side, we're just gonna slide the wrench in here, get on the bolt and take it out just with wrenches. We can't really get to it with sockets. Um, the bolts aren't on there really tight either. So we'll be able to just do it fine with wrenches. Wrench those bolts all the way out, back them out, and then we'll work on the front side. All right, well, now that those bolts are out, we can move ahead to the front of the drive shaft and we will take those straps off and then it should just be a matter of maybe banging it out or uh, you know prying it out if we have to. Uh, sorry if I sound a little cold. It's like, I wanna say it's in the teens right now. You can see my breath, so uh, I'm doing my best to try to stay warm while working on this. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start doing that front, rip that part and uh, get back in the garage as soon as possible.
So now that we got that drive shaft off, let's look at the damage and uh, go over what we're gonna have to do to get this thing out. Right off the bat, you can see in there, there's some roller bearings. Oh, well, they're not in there. They're not in there anymore. In that one, you can see that there's, it's actually been pretty wiped. I'll give you an idea of what it's supposed to look like. Here's what a nice new one looks like. Hopefully you can see inside there. There's all a bunch of little cylinders. They're called uh, needle bearings or roller bearings. That's what allows for the smooth operation of the U-joint. Um, obviously in this one, you saw that the needle bearings got destroyed, rusted out. If you look at the joint itself, This is the side that was knocking right here. And it's sort of hard to tell, but it's actually like a little bit out of round. Like it's not a, a straight cylinder. This side's a little bit better than that side. Um, either way, that's definitely what our noise is gonna be. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these sir clips out. You just grab those with pliers, they come right out normally sometimes you might need to bang around with a screwdriver and a hammer or whatever and then we're going to use what's called it's a, called a ball joint press um it's basically just a giant c-clamp though and normally it's used for ball joints but you can use it to press anything out really and uh i'll let you see what that looks like you can actually go ahead and rent these um i think autozone rents them a couple places rent them out if you don't want to buy it if you do want to buy it i'll show you the part numbers right on top of the box See here, this one's made by ATD. Uh, the kit is ATD 8696. It's called a four in one ball joint service kit. So we're just gonna go ahead and open this kit up. And here you can see, this is the C-clamp portion of it. It's got one end threaded, one end not. This is the, the threaded part, which obviously goes in the threaded side of the clamp. As you thread this through, that's what's going to provide the pushing force that's going to push that u-joint out of that uh, out of that drive shaft and then eventually it's going to push it back in as well so let me go ahead get this all set up um i'll put you guys on the stand so you can have a little bit better of a view uh grab the clips off and we'll start pressing this u-joint out So now here we've got 22 socket on an air gun. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten this to push this U-joint, to try and hopefully push this U-joint through um, so that it's far enough that we can pull that cap off this, that side. At which point we should be able to take the whole U-joint out. We may need to push it back the other way afterwards, but it sort of depends. Uh, some cars are a little bit different than others. so. Uh, Let's go ahead, tighten this down. Hopefully you'll be able to see it move and then we'll just try to get it out. It would help if I put the air on. There you can see it's pushed all the way through. See a nice gap right there. And it's obviously pretty loose. And you can see the cap sticking out there. So we're just gonna grab some pliers. Pull that cap off, and with that cap off, that side falls right through. So there you go. There's our old U-joint, ready for the garbage. But we have our nice new U-joint here now. Uh, we got the grease fitting in there, which is a nice add-on from this. This doesn't have one. So we'll be able to lubricate this over time as part of the service and make it last even longer. Uh, what we're gonna do now is clean all this up. One of the most important things that you wanna do Use like a nice little pick or maybe even a screwdriver and just where these sir clips were in there, clean out the grooves with the pick, get all the dirt out of there, run a rag through there, make sure you get all the crap out. That way the new clips will go in nice and easily. So you're gonna do it the same way that the old one came out, which basically take off the one cap, slide the whole thing in, and then we're gonna press that cap back on. 
With this grease fitting, I tried to look at what it would look like mounted on the truck. I'm pretty sure pointed at the axle is gonna be the best. You can see it's on one side and you know, not like dead center. So I have it on the side closer to the axle. I think that'll be better um, to access it, but uh, who knows? I don't, I don't really know what the, the go-to is for that. So uh, let's go ahead and take this cap off. Set this aside. You do not, you do not want any of these roller bearings to fall. If any fall and then you put it in and you, you uh, press it together, it'll destroy the U-joint. So if any do fall, you wanna try to make sure to line it back up and, and you know, get them all smooth. Once you got that circ clip in there, and you know that one's on the other side, just go ahead and make sure that there's no binding or anything, it moves freely. So then you're basically done there. There's not much else to do. So guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you so much for staying with me. If you made it to this end and you're enjoying the content on the channel, be sure to hit the like button. And if you really do enjoy it and you've stuck around this long, you definitely should subscribe and hit that post notification bell so that you can see when we make new videos. If you are new and you haven't checked out that wheel bearing video, maybe you wanna go back and look at that and learn how to do the wheel bearings on this Cummins and see how it went for us. We got to use some new tools in that and everything. But right now as you can see from my breath it's like 15 degrees out here the northeast is ridiculously cold at the moment so i'm not gonna really film me putting this back in i'm just gonna try to get in there as fast as possible and get out from underneath that car get inside and get warm maybe have some soup or something so it's been a pleasure guys i really hope that you learned something helped you out in uh, any chance that you might have to do some u-joints in the future or whatever uh, and you just enjoyed your time otherwise i'm gonna be out and i'll see you guys later